everyone, I'm Carissa Huyang Manantil, Sales Manager at Great Place to Work Philippines. Today will be very interesting because we will debunk the belief that employer branding is only vital to large businesses. I can say this because a company under small business category was just recently recognized as Great Place to Work certified. And the company that I'm talking about is Pander Outsourcing. So stay with me and let's learn together from no other than Pandar CEO himself, Anthony Charles Cante, together with Pandar Philippines creative lead, Lester Denosa. Hi, Anthony and Lester. Hi, Carissa. Hello, Carissa. Thank you for gracing us with your presence today and for allowing yourself to share with us Pandar's employer branding journey. Anthony and Lester, I know Pander just started helping businesses grow in year 2019. And being fairly new in the industry, three years to be exact, when did you realize that employer branding should already be a priority? Yeah, look, it, it's a competitive world out there in the outsourcing industry, and um, we wanted to stand out. Um, our clients want the best staff, and we wanted to give them the best staff. Uh, more than ever before as well, employees are researching companies they're applying at. Um, in particular, they're looking for social proof that it's a good company for them to work at. So things like um, the company's social media, uh, their word of mouth, employee reviews, uh, and also accredited and recognized certifications like um, the, Grace, the Great Place to Work, uh, certification is really important. Um, employees want to be able to feel the brand of the employer and see if it matches their values first. And we're seeing that more than ever in our applications. And they want to be reassured that they're not alone in thinking, hey, this is a good choice for me and this is the right company for me to be at. Yeah, and to add on that, we believe that Panda is growing and with the aim to build the company even bigger, we need to strengthen our core, like certifications, awards, and improving the value of not just our service, but our employer branding itself. It's one of the best ways to do it. And we thought that the Great Place to Work certification is one of the top things we want our company growing to have. And we see the GPDW as a badge. We see it as a badge that Panda wears all the time. Like, for example, speaking of wearing all the time, we've actually incorporated it with our content. You're seeing our backgrounds right now with the badge already. You're see, you'll see it on our Facebook and Instagram. Confidently flaunting the badge helps us to be more engaged with our clients. And it allows us and them to see that they are choosing to work with a company that values its staff, who turn and value them as well. While to applicants, it puts us on top of the competition for a work environment that, um, that, that technically assures them of growth on multiple levels. Thus, with Panda's growth, we want everyone in the Philippines to know that soon, the world, that we are a great place to work at. Well, it seems like you're not far from that vision. In fact, having 94% of your employees say that you are a great place to work, Panda has nowhere to go but up. And Pander must be very proud to know this. Now, I get that being certified has its impact for Pander. But for your employees, what do you think is the benefit of Pander being a great place to work certified? Um, I think it, it's a great accolade for us as a company to know that we're making our existing people feel fulfilled uh, in their careers. Um, but also look at the things where we could score better for next time as well. Um, I think there's always room for us to review uh, all the areas of, of our business, especially uh, when we get feedback um, in a survey that can be quite specific and really outline where people have concerns and also where people are really enjoying that particular aspect uh, of our workplace. And having that information um, is really powerful and uh, that really allows us to um, make decisions that are going to continually improve our workplace and uh, if we can get an even higher score than 94% next year. Awesome. Also, let me deepen down on that employee part, Carissa. Panda is powered by millennials who can be categorized as very social, especially online. They're intrinsically motivated, emotionally conscious, and they seek transparency, especially online. 
and they are really great adopters of technology. Millennials now represent more, most of the workforce than any of the other generations. While on that, Pander is tapping into that. We maximize their craft, we let it sparkle with technology, and we make them shine like they're superstars. We actually have a term for that. We call it Panda Amazing. And for a growing company, it's hard to see perfection and get that, ah, oh, yeah, I want to work and stay here vibe. That's why Pander, we make sure employees are treated as part of one big tribe who work collaboratively with each other. Being GPTW certified assures us that we're on the right path with pandas working together harmoniously. We see people and our people see themselves as part of something bigger and that they love what they do and where they work. This is pand amazing. <laughs> Um, you are right, Lester. Um, a company success is celebrated by both leaders and employees. And I couldn't agree any further. With your leadership, Anthony and Lester, Pander have less than 100 employees, but yet you have achieved this far in, in just a short span of time. Now, if you have one advice to those who are just starting and hesitant to invest in their employer branding, what will be your advice? Well, I think um, start investing. Uh, it's really important. Um, I think saying your company, a lot of companies are saying in, in they say in interviews that they're a great company. Uh, they, they say on social media um, that they're a great company, but um, we really need to show people more than ever now uh, that we are a great company rather than uh, just telling people. So um, and that's about really making the employees uh, be able to feel what it, what it's like to work at um, our company and, and work at Panda. And uh, for example, we do a lot of a lot of work and we invest a lot in our social um, for that exact reason. Lester uh, heads and runs a webinar series called Bamboo Talks, funnily enough. And um, what that's about is addressing envi um, environmental issues which are aligned uh, very closely with, with Panda. We have a lot of community outreach programs um, that our staff get really involved in. Uh, we get a lot of participation in, um, but also um, talking about, you know, issues like um, people's mental health and uh, creating a safe space for people um, to work of uh, from from all walks of life. And I think that's that's really, really important um, to, to really invest in, in that branding so that you can stand out as a, as a company that people, uh, when they and when they get to see a glimpse of you, they get to really feel what kind of company you like and and identify and see themselves in that company. And I think it's that connection where through our social, um, we we open up, our social media is very active. We, we open up and we give people a glimpse that they can see into our company, uh, like, you know, with a looking glass and just see what, what it's like um, to be there, what every day is like. And I think that has worked uh, really well for us in showing pe in 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 showing people what we're like, and people uh, have really connected with that. Um, I when, when when the company started, I and still almost to this day, almost uh, I'm I do all of our um, our final interviews. So I've had the privilege of really talking to a lot of staff about why they've left their previous job and then why they've come. And, and what it, what it, what was it about um, Panda that attracted them to come here? And um, yeah, being able to show people a glimpse into what happens at Panda um, through our webinars and through our other social has been a massive factor in uh, people uh, applying uh, at our company. Awesome. Um, I want to quote Spider-Man on this one. He said that with great power comes with great responsibility. We believe that employer branding is part of that responsibility, but leading alone is not enough. We also need to brand ourselves. This way, we create an identity for your company, for our company, and building an identity matters because this is how our clients, our applicants, and our people remember us as and for Pander, we want to be remembered as a fun, yet fiercely professional, and amazing, world-class BPO company. Thank you for sharing Pander's initiatives and for addressing mental health and creating a safe space to your employees. I'm pretty sure your employees appreciate this gesture, especially during this time of pandemic. By the way, Bamboo Talks sounds like a good webinar to attend to. 
And yes, Lester, with all the insights you both have shared, indeed, great power comes with great responsibilities. I hope the aspiring business owners who are watching right now are encouraged as much as I am. You know, listening to you both Lester and Anthony, it really dawned upon me that employer branding should not be put off regardless if you are SMB or MNC, especially if you are just starting your company because really, this is how you will be remembered and known for, right? So regardless of your employee size, you have to treat your employees with trust and respect then everything else will follow. Anthony and Lester, again, thank you. You have no idea how fortunate I feel right now for having this opportunity to speak and learn directly from great leaders as yourselves. And to you who is watching right now, I hope you enjoy this conversation as much as I did. And if you want to learn more about Panther Outsourcing or know how to get your organization certified, please visit www.greatplacetowork.com.ph. Again, thank you and catch up with you again soon. Bye. Thanks, Carissa. Bye. Bye. Bye.